Hello, this is Patrick Botticelli with Colonial Airstream in Lakewood, New Jersey. Today I'm sitting in a brand new 2017 25 FB Flying Cloud. The exterior width is 8 foot 5 and a half inches. This is a wide body trailer. Interior width is 8 foot 1. The interior headroom is 6 foot 7 and a half inches. This trailer comes with a front bedroom queen or twin. You have the choice. They're both the same price. Sitting in a dinette, they can sit four people at it. It also folds down into a bed, which is 96 inches by 40 inches. So these two backrest cushions squeeze down in the middle when the table folds down and lays on top of the two benches. Also, if I show you around, you have this 66 inch long lounge that slides out Back cushion slides, everything forward, 48 inches wide, so 66 by 48. So you can sleep two people there. Underneath the lounge, this flips down and there's storage bins. This cutout here is where the furnace return is. And then this storage compartment is additional storage. Underneath the dinette, there's a very large drawer that opens. This is an open concept here, a little modern design. You can see the subwoofer behind. There's a little shoe storage here off to the side. And then we have the battery disconnect. This is great because you could hit the store button and it shuts everything off in the trailer for you. Now, there's lights outside for a porch light and a step light that illuminates the step area. And then the awning has an LED light strip that goes entire length of the trailer on the body of the trailer. When you roll the awning out, you could turn that on, but you could also dim it down if it's too bright. And then the interior ceiling lights are dimmable. This is the queen. This is uh, 60 by 75. And folks love that panoramic view that they get. It is uh, a favorite of the Airstream buyers. But the great thing about the queen bed is it actually lifts up and there's a lot of storage underneath it. You could actually reach right in into your trunk area. Premium mattress, there's a pillow top memory foam mattress, about eight inches thick. Extremely comfortable to visit our dealership on a very cold day. Just keep in mind the mattress is probably frozen, so it's gonna soften up quite a bit when uh, you get it up to room temperature. Next to the bed, there's a nightstand, has a USB charge port next to a regular electrical outlet. There's a speaker in the roof locker next to a reading light. Overhead roof locker has a generous amount of stores. This one has a lip so your stuff doesn't slide forward. The hardware is adjustable. You could tighten this. So if you want more tension to keep it closed or if you want more lift assist, you decide. The head of the bed, we have an 18 inch stacked window. Stacked window means there's an opening window above a porthole window that doesn't open. The top one does. Premium. Handles here for the door and premium hardware. This hardware is adjustable so you could change the angle of the door if anything ever moved in the future. There's a wardrobe rod in this one so you can hang some shirts and there's little notches in it to keep your items from sliding back and forth. Look how far out these drawers glide. These are full extension too. Look at this toilet. This is the Dometic premium toilet. This is uh, more porcelain instead of plastic. Big advantage is very easy to clean, just like a regular residential uh, toilet. It's never recommended to tow the trail around with water in the toilet, so make sure you drain that down before you hit the road. We do love the sound of the door when it closes. Very solid construction. Look at a heavy duty hardware. You can lock the handle here, prevents it from someone un unlocking the trailer. Screen doors detachable from the main door. Swings around, this fills the gap. As long as you don't use it as a crutch to get in. It should last a lifetime of the trailer. 
don't see how the step was actually designed. You could either put a hand here and hand here and lift up and the step will swing down. But the way it was really designed was put your foot under it, push up and pull and that releases it. And then you just throw it down like that. Underbelly of all the trailers is completely enclosed in aluminum. And there's heavy duty stabilizer jacks all four corners. Rear trunk storage, this lifts up, diamond plated so you can store items inside. Now this area will get wet, but what it's meant for is all the stuff you throw on the ground like a block of wood or wheel chalk. Instead of putting it in your nice clean trunk, you could throw it in the, tr in the rear trunk. You could actually put locks on it too. License plate bracket with light. This has the optional window awning package, which I highly recommend. It has all umbrella material. And when you get it down, you just swing this over on both sides. Now lock it in place. And this rolls up nice and neat. And there's Velcro that keeps it up at the top. There's the backup camera, the wireless backup camera. We saw the monitor inside earlier. And then when the awning, all the awnings go up, they're metal wrapped and protected. This pulls out. And it covers the whole side from cap to cap of the trailer. And people say, well, it's pretty excessive. It goes the whole length. There's only window here and there. What it does is it shades your shower, your wardrobe, and your refrigerator. It shades the whole side of the trailer. If you have a Table, cloth, table here with a tablecloth underneath your awning. You want to make sure you keep it clear of this area because this could get very hot and it could uh, cause your tablecloth to go on fire. And then your VIN plate is up front with your tire size, tire pressure information, and production information. There's two tethers that keep this rock guard down. Definitely leave them on, on a, down on a windy day. If you keep these on on a windy day. And when you're towing, you don't want those loose. Once you get to your desired height, you can lock this neural knob in place and keep it even, put it on both sides on. A frame of the trailer here is a boxed frame. It's not C channel, so it's very rigid. It's gloss black, so if you want to touch it up, if it ever get a rust mark in it, you could do so easily. Colonial Airstream gives you a heavy duty premium hitch lock which prevents this from sliding forward and lifting up. This is a two inch, two and five sixteenth inch ball that this trailer accepts. And it comes with 11,000 pound safety chains, which you have to crisscross. You could uh, extend or retract the height of the a hitch jack here to bring the trailer up and down to level it front to back or to bring it on and off your vehicle. There's an outside light here that allows you to illuminate this hitching area and there's a little bubble level that the manufacturer gives you well this is patrick with colonial airstream in lakewood new jersey i hope you enjoyed this video please like this video comment share subscribe i'd love it i'll see you soon